Hello everybody. Today is Saturday, which means I'm out with the bees and today we're doing three things. First, we're gonna be checking in on the swarm that we caught last week, which is in this hive. So we're gonna look for the queen. We're gonna see how peaceful the bees are, um, whether they've been productive, um, how they've accepted their new home. Second, we're gonna answer a very important question. That is, the bee pheromone for attack is banana. And so what is going to happen when they actually face a banana. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And third, we are going to check in on this hive, which was newly installed three weeks ago, but appeared to not have a queen last week. So we'll see what they've done. Did they make a new queen or did we just miss the old queen? I'm really most excited about this first thing. I've never caught a swarm before and they seem to be having a lot of activity flying in and out. So how, how are they doing and what's this queen going to look like? really excited about how all these bees here of different colors. Um, it's usually a sign of a very well made queen. She has made it with a lot of different guys, so diverse offspring. This makes for a strong hive. Wow. The shiny stuff, that's some of the first honey they bring in. This frame, they're building out the wax. You can see here the wax when it's initially made is white and then it gets a more yellow tint and then finally it's dark. Some of the old frames have dark rocks in them, but this one they're just starting to build out. So that is good. So far, very peaceful, super happy. These might even be more peaceful than some of the bread bees that I have um, from the Russian queens. Not of trouble, water. La, 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 la. Ooh, that's a heavy frame. And there she is. Check it out. Wow. Queen Anne. Very light colored. Oh, she's laying an egg. Look at that. Amazing. Wow, that is a magnificent queen. No idea how old she is. All right, enough of that. Now this bee is procrastinating right here. She's just taking a little break. Everybody else is like, do your part of the teamwork. She's like, no. Jenny has always been a little different from everybody else, you know? A little view of the honey that they've been collecting here up top of the frame. I've been filming these guys for quite a while now, and they're so peaceful. The queen doesn't really care that I am here. She's just been laying eggs. She laid about 20 eggs since I started started taping here. And uh, and they're not really attacking me either, which is, I don't know, I think, let's hope that continues to be like that. So yeah, that's my first swarm that I caught, and it seems to be thriving. It's very exciting. Okay, so I've changed my mind about the banana thing. I was going to do it to these swarm bees, but they've really been so kind to me, so I don't wanna ruin that relationship. You know, you gotta cherish what you have, um, like many things in life. But anyway, so we'll do the banana trick at the end to one of the other hives, and, and we'll close up this beautiful, beautiful swarm hive with Queen Anne. Next, we'll open up this possibly queenless hive see if they've made a new queen or if somehow the old queen was hiding. All right, that is quite busy. Almost like a Florida beach during Corona lockdown. I'm pretty hopeful that there is a queen in here. Otherwise, I think the number of bees at this point would be not, not as high. Okay. Here we have a ton of brood. 
both sides of the frame have been laid full. That is indeed promising, though so far I have not seen the queen anywhere. Brood is capped when it's um, seven to ten days old, so it doesn't mean that there is a queen in here right now. But at least it's good for their numbers. Okay, I have searched through this entire hive and there is no queen that I found. And that is indeed puzzling. Now, there is one frame left to pull out, which is this one right here. So she's gotta be on this frame or there is no queen. Then who laid all those brood? That's confusing. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, well, now we know what's happening. Here are all of the super seizure cells, and they have been built out. They have been hella built out. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me bring the camera closer to this. Here they are. Now, if we get you guys to go away, look at that. They took some of the brood that the old queen laid and turned it into new queens. So what can happen is the bees will feed a larva, something called royal jelly, and then that larva turns into a queen. Because queens are much bigger than all other bees, they, their cells have to be built out. So they've kind of been building them out at an angle right here. So this one is already capped. This one is already capped. This one's already capped. Um, we might be able to take a look inside this other one. And there, you can see that larva down there. See that? There. That is a baby queen. She is swimming in royal jelly and and they'll, they'll keep feeding the larvae and then they'll cap that. Wow. Now what's going to happen, the first queen to hatch will kill all the other queens until there's only one surviving queen and then that queen will go on a mating flight and then run this hive. Okay, I'm gonna close these guys back. Oh, wait a second, I forgot about the banana. All right, here we go. So, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start peeling this banana and then see how they react. They're, they're definitely more pissy than that swarm that I was talking about earlier. Um, and they don't have a queen, so technically they have a license to be pissed. But um, I'm still curious about this banana thing. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They don't look particularly pissed off to me, honestly. Yep, all right, well, so it appears that eating a banana next to a beehive is a reasonably safe thing to do. Now, that's not medical advice. I don't wanna get into trouble for that. The, mo the more problematic thing is that like, I, I can't actually eat the banana. Okay, so I'll close these ladies back up and um, then we'll come back and see, you know, maybe we'll get very lucky and actually see the queens hatch. It takes 14 days to make a queen. Um, and I'll come back in a couple of days to see how they've been progressing. And maybe we'll see the new queen of this hive hatch. You know, there might be them haters out there that was saying to him, this is not, this is not like the Game of Thrones, but these queens are gonna fight to the death in real life. Not on some TV show. I think that's, that's way better. Dun, 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 dun.